got the crock pot out, and we're gonna make a fantastic recipe that you're gonna love. And here in the South, we love to make a Mississippi hot roast. So today we're gonna show you how it's done. So come on in. Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And here in the South, we love to make crock pot recipes, and this one is going to be fantastic. It is. It is a good recipe, and down here in the South, they love to do this recipe. Yes, they do. We're making that Mississippi pot roast, and I have to laugh because we were doing the intro earlier, and Sheila called this a Mississippi <laughs> crock pot. And I looked at her and said, what's a Mississippi crock pot? <laughs> We she, have these online. She says, well, I was looking at it, and that's just what came out of my mouth. <laughs> so we had to laugh. I love that It one. was funny. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we've got our roast beef. This is a chuck roast. And we've got our, our crock pot that we've already put some nonstick cooking spray in. And I like to do that anyways. I mean, some people use the liners. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to keep it from sticking to the sides, but I just put some nonstick cooking spray before we put that. And it'll just slide out. Absolutely. So we've got a uh, roast, uh, a big roast, and this is oh look. Yeah, take that, that off. Get that thing off there. We don't we don't need that on there, do we? No. Okay. So <clears throat> this is about a four pound pot roast, and my hands are getting all in it right now. And I've got in and here. And it's heavy too. It is heavy. It is. And so in here, I've got um, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, right. and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm just going to rub some of that on this meat on the underside here. And then I'm going to flip it over and put that inside our crock pot. All right, so I got the underside of this all seasoned up, and I'm going to put that face down right here. Yeah, just drop it. Look at that's a big, that is a big. That fit that one all the way around. I'm gonna show you that, and I'm gonna season that side. That's too. a full meal. That is a full meal. I'm just gonna rub that on top a little bit. All right, and I'll set that aside. What makes this a Mississippi pot roast is these pepperoncinis. It's delicious, and yes. now that you can get that jar, you can get smaller jars. Uh, we that was the only size jar that they had, um, so we got that. You should have seen us the other day in shopping, Carruthers, going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> We are really out of film ourselves walking through a Kroger. <laughs> it's quite the it experience. Yeah. You should come shop with us sometime. <laughs> but that'd, we, that'd be a hoot. We poured some of the juice out, so we got a half a cup of juice there that we're going to pour around the edges of the pot roast, and we'll show you. Okay, so another ingredient that makes this a Mississippi pot roast is yes. this ranch seasoning mix. Now, this isn't the salad dressing. It just says ranch seasoning and you don't need to add any water to this. You're just gonna tear this open and we're gonna sprinkle this and you just sprinkle that all over the top of the roast. The whole packet. So the next thing we're gonna add is this Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix Packet. Yes, and I'm gonna sprinkle all that on top of this. That's right, and now there's two packets in one of these boxes, so you can use this for another pot roast or something else, or some, just make some soup down the road. So, I'll let you, look, I can't open it. <laughs> I'm turning into Steve. Can, how do you get this thing open? <laughs> what was it, what, rep, what episode did he do that on? <laughs> oh yeah, the Jiffy Mix. The Jiffy Mix, he couldn't get oh, that yeah. box open, it, and they were laughing. Oh my gosh, all right, there you go. Know. I'm gonna show them. And we're just gonna sprinkle that mix all over. The roast. I love this kind of recipes. So now we're gonna put six pepperoncini peppers right on top of this. And just lay them evenly mm -hmm. right on top. Right like this. Yeah. And just kind of spread them around because that's what's gonna give it some really great flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I got one left. Find a home, all the way on this end maybe. Maybe right there. Yeah. yeah. And then the final ingredient is butter. Butter. <laughs> butter on butter, as Steve would say. Oh, he'd love that butter. And we've got these, a whole stick of butter, and we've got these sliced into about tablespoon size, and we're just going to evenly place them around the crock pot. One potato? That's not a potato. Two potatoes. That's not a potato. It's a butter. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> One potato, two potato, three yeah, potato, four. And you ever heard that before? Yeah, yeah, I have. yeah. It's 
funny. But since you were calling it a Mississippi crockpot, I was getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi cockroach. Is yeah, that's so funny. Good. I'm out of butter. <laughs> You're out of butter. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, huh? Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Here. I'll take that too. Take that too. Give me that. You here. want to give me that stuff too? Yeah. Here okay. You I'll clean it up. Okay. Mama Donna's not here this morning, but she'll be here later on. We're going to put this on high for six hours, but you can also do this on low for about eight to 10 hours, but we're hungry usually by the time that this is going to get done. So we're going to make it six hours, maybe seven. It just depends on the meat. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. You don't need any more liquid in this. It's going to go in the crock pot six hours on high and we'll be back. All right. Well, let's check it out. Mm. That was really good. Doesn't that look good? Put in there for six hours. And we had it on high, and I think that's plenty. So, uh, and we could look at our little peppers and everything are still there. I think we should dish it up. I think we should too. I'm about ready for it. I know. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Let's eat. Doesn't that look delicious? It does. Got a big bed of mashed potatoes. Mm. Put some of these little peppers on there. Let's see. Let's get some of that. Pour that right over that. Mmm. Some of that spicy aju. Yum. While this was cooking in the crock pot, right? Sheila went and got her hair done. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Tammy Garvin. She does my hair and hairs to you. All right. Thanks, Tammy. She got to do that and I edited a video. See how that yeah. works? I know. <laughs> got a lot done today. We got a lot done today. But this smells so good. Didn't it smell it good? It does really good. smell a vision She came in the house and she was like, oh, that smells so good. You ready? Right. Let's try it. I'm ready. Okay. Forks up. Forks up. Okay. Oh, we got this on a nice bed of this mashed potatoes. Oh, gosh. Hold up, potatoes. Ready? All right. Here's what all the rage is about. Mmm. <laughs> this That's... is definitely my bowl. <laughs> She's like, goodbye. Nobody can have my bowl. Wow. You know, the flavor of that is just fantastic. You know, that ranch mixed in with that beef. Look how uh, this falls apart. Beefy onion. I know, and it just just melts in your mouth. It is so good. You have and got to try this. Not in your hands. Wrong commercial. That's chocolate. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's doing commercials for chocolate. Yeah. <clears throat> but you've got to try this Mississippi pot roast I don't know. in the slow cooker because you are gonna love it. If you've never had it, oh my gosh, yum yum. So it is good. As Steve would say, is this the best? Slow cooker, Mississippi pot roast. If it ain't, it ought to be. Thanks again for watching and liking and sharing. And subscribing. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. We did it again. <laughs> <laughs> we did that other time. I know. Yeah, that's funny. Instagram. Instagram. And visit shotgunred.com where you can get all of our merchandise. We got our cookbook. I know. Don't you just love that cookbook? I know. I'm so excited so about the cookbook. So many people have ordered it and they love this thing. And we are so happy. And we are working on another one. So yes. stay tuned. I know this is volume one. So check it out at Amazon. You can get that there. And we are excited about that. And we've got some other goodies coming up for the holidays and join our free membership right because we have people who really? we talk with all the time and stuff on there comments so. all the time such good comments and we appreciate all your comments thank you and we're gonna eat because we're hungry yes, we now are. it's like late in the evening now and we're like i know we're gonna have some of this food so we I'm will gonna, huh i'm gonna eat this with a brand new haircut she's gonna eat it with a brand new haircut and i'm gonna eat it with the same old haircut <laughs> See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You ready? I'm ready. Oh okay. my gosh, this is so good. Mom, you got to try this. Can't wait. Oh my gosh. Mm. Seriously, this has got the best flavor. Mmm. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. 
That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.